Obviously, I look like this Emily. I've never met her before. No, no, yeah, they say everyone has a double walking around. I must be hers. That's it. Look, it's a coincidence. Please, it's not just leave me alone. It's not just a resemblance. It's every feature, every detail. It's your... Your face. It's the face of a woman that... I love more than my own life. I'm sorry if me staring at you is making you uncomfortable. Yeah, it's just, a little bizarre. You have no idea how bizarre look, it is. Look, I, I think it's all getting to you. You know, being trapped inside of a burning building with poisons floating through the ventilation system. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We are kind of in the middle of chaos right now, aren't we? Uh, Rebecca, that's your name, right? Rebecca Shaw, yeah. Rebecca Shaw. That suits you well. All right. Glad you approve. Wait, wait. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know all this sounds crazy, but Emily was my wife, and she died a little over a year ago. And yeah. Look, the guy who saved me, Jason, mentioned that he had a sister who died and that she looked like me. I'm sorry for your loss. Right. I... Thank you. And those, those other people, Edward and Monica, Monica was Emily's adoptive mother and Edward was her grandfather. And they all knew her just as well as I did and had the same reaction, like Emily was standing right in front of them. Yeah, look, you, you all miss her. You're all grieving. It's got nothing to do with me. Well, it does if you're related to her. resemblance is too strong to be just a coincidence. Emily's biological father died when she was yeah. little. She didn't know Look, much about him. This is Maybe. crazy. Well, there has to be some explanation. Were you adopted by him? No, that is absolutely none of your business. I'll take that as a yes. And you take it as me telling you that you have no right to ask about any of my personal information. It's obvious that you lost your wife and that it's messing with no, your head. This isn't grief talking, and I'm not exaggerating here. I'll prove it to you. Look no, at this picture. I don't want to see at... any pictures. Just want you to leave me alone. Have either of you seen Rebecca? That woman looks like Emily. No, not since earlier. Why? I'm sorry. I've been, I've been so focused on uh, trying to maintain communication with the outside, I, but I haven't seen anything on tour. Damn it. What happened? I started babbling to her about Emily. She must have thought I was a madman. She ran off, and now if anything happens to her, it's my fault. If Jekyll may offer some humble advice, please abandon your search. Just proceed to the north stairwell, go up to the roof, and await evacuation. Well, not, not until I find Rebecca. Uh, look, I think maybe he has the right idea. I mean, you said yourself, you kind of freaked her out. I know. I, I, I can't lose her. I know how that must sound. She's a complete stranger, and yet I'm trying to find her, but she looks so much like Emily, I feel like I'm responsible for her. All right, well, um, I'll help you look. No! No! Order must be imposed. The two of you can't waste precious time on a fruitless search. Not, not, to, not to mention jeopardizing your own lives. He's right. Listen, um, I do know that anywhere east of the nurse's station is on fire, so I go one way, you go the other, and we meet back here. Okay. okay just, if, if you don't find the eerily similar one, just assume she's been taken to safety. Right. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, okay, look, look, I'm sorry for, my, for upsetting you, but you, you have to come back with me. It's the only way to avoid this fire, get back on the roof, so we can get evacuated by helicopter. You have okay, to come on. Oh, come. Now, don't need an escort. In fact, I'll feel okay. a whole lot more comfortable if you just...